Hello guys, welcome to JD Bots and today we are going to see how to connect your Azure bot with the SharePoint site using the direct line channel. So in this first part, we'll cover creating the web part and deploying in the local server. All right. So coming to the GitHub repository where they have already created the web part for us. So we'll be using this web part and we'll be deploying it in the local server. All right. So I'll be giving this link in the description so that you can make use of for the cloning purpose. I have already downloaded and cloned. So you need to come to the once you have downloaded it, go to the samples, then search for React Bot Framework. And here we are with the code. All right. So before starting, we need to install some of the dependencies. So before installing the dependencies, you need the Node.js. And especially the 10.x version you will need because 10.x version is only supported and recommended for SharePoint Framework. We'll be using this SharePoint Framework to deploy our web part. So this 10.x version is only recommended and supported version. So I'll be giving this link so that you can install the Node.js 10.x version. So based on your operating system, it can be Linux, Windows, all right. Since I have already installed, I'll be going ahead installing the dependencies. So I'll open the command prompt from this project directory. And the first command, we need to install the gulp. All right. Uh, it's not necessary to come to this directly and install Gulp because we are installing it globally. So it may take some time based on your internet speed. And the next one will need the human. It's not required as of now because uh, we are not creating the web part from scratch. We are just using the already created web part. So just for you to understand that this human will be used to create a brand new web part along with the generator. So this is the human generator. So let's install that as well. So after you have installed the three of the dependencies let's go ahead and install the node modules so the command is npm install please make sure you are in the correct project directory otherwise the node modules won't get won't be getting installed because it will look for the package file Okay, we have already installed it. And let's go ahead installing the certificate. Basically, when you run this project, it will be run on the HTTPS server by default. So in order to trust that certificate, we need to inst install this one. Gulp trust dev certificate. We need to install this certificate. It will show up a pop-up window where you need to click on yes since I have already installed it previously so it is not showing me. So it will show up a pop-up video when you need to click you need to click on yes. And the last one let's build and preview our web part that is Gulp Serve.
so it will run on our local server it will imitate as the shape point web part only looks like we have this option in the shape point as well adding a new section which can be one column two columns and so on so let's try to add our chatbot in the one column window that is our default it is selected as one column only layout so let's add so once you click on add new web part you'll see two options in the web parts one is a bot framework chat and one is the version 4 so this the first one is the version 3 bot framework so that will not be using it because it is deprecated as of now but it is still in use will be only working on the version 4 bot framework so once you click on that you see a chat window appearing and about the type your message you see an error that is unable to connect the reason for this is that we haven't added the secret key that is the direct line secret key so you just click on edit web part and a property span will be opening on the right hand side so here you need to provide the direct line secret key of your azure bot also you can change the appearance of your chat window suppose uh, if i want to change the appearance for the background like i want to change the background color i can add i hope one two three four five i hope this is the hexa code for black let's see whether this will work i'll reload the page hmm, i'm not sure because if that is the hexa code for the black color or this is white color let's search for that hexa for black i hope zero zero was black or oh yeah oh i'm not uh, pretty good at this hexa coding okay this will be our background color and yeah oh looks nice right but let's first connect let's just first put the direct line secret key for that i hope you have already created your web app bot in the azure and uh, when you go to the channels you will find the direct line channel out of this featured channel since i have already added it okay, let me remove this first okay okay so when you click on channels you'll see this configure direct line channel option you click on that and let's just add a new site it's because i have deleted that site so it is asking me to create a new site otherwise it will already be created for you the name will be default okay and you have the secret keys over here just copy one of them and click on done and go back to the properties span of your sharepoint workbench and just paste it to there after pasting let's just reload the page all right now you see that error message is not appearing as of now so let's start the conversation i'll say hi so you see the background color of the messages it's still black and i can see it is if we can change it to white then it will be good match right so bot messages uh, let's say i want to use uh, that I think this will be for the white background for the messages. Uh, let's
let's say hi yeah you see so this is the background which I have changed is only for the reply messages not the sender messages suppose if I write like um, book a ticket to Paris oh it should be flight yeah <laughs> okay so here you see there is a sender message and this is a bot reply bot message so you can change it to based on your preference uh, bot messages for ground color let it be same user messages background color yeah so let's just change it to uh, let's say orange mm. uh, orange it is FFA 500 and uh, users and you can also add the avatar for the bot as well as for the user uh, I'll keep it as it is and let's reload and see the message background for the user yeah you see now it is in orange in color and white it looks good right flight to London it's a very good combination yeah so now this bot this web part is currently running on the local server which is localhost 4321 and in the next video we will cover how to deploy it in the SharePoint okay alright thank you thank you all see you in the next video